Hello, we are going to go over the last section in our chapter, chapter two, and we're going to go over lesson 2-5, model with math. So right here we have a bar diagram. So we are going to use this story problem to be able to use this bar diagram to kind of depict what we are going to be learning. So our story problem says Patricia has four baskets. Five apples are in each basket. How many apples does Patricia have in all? So these are our four baskets. We have one, two, three, and four. Those are our four baskets. Now Patricia has five apples in each basket. So I'm gonna go ahead and put five apples in each basket basket and you can go ahead and do this too. There's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna move that one down a little. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five. So there we go. Those are our four baskets and she has five apples in each basket. So to figure out what our answer is, we can go ahead and just count how many apples she has. So let's go ahead and do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So Patricia has twenty apples in all. And you're gonna go ahead and put that answer up here. So we have five in this basket, five in this basket, five in this basket, and then five in this basket. So we're gonna go ahead and do our array model now with the same problem. So remember, this was a bar diagram that you can help kind of, you know, use as a manipulative to be able to figure out the answer, or you can use our array that we're gonna use. So it says, Patricia has four baskets, five apples are in each basket. So these are our baskets. We have one basket, two baskets, three baskets, and four baskets. And remember, these are our rows because rows go from left to right. They are horizontal. So we are gonna count up our rows. So we have, <clears throat> This is one row. So in one row we have one, two, three, four, five. And then all in the in the all the other rows we have five, two. So we have five in the first one, five in the second one, five in the third one, and five or sorry, there's only four rows, so I only need four lines. So silly of me. And I don't know what's happening. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete one of these because we only have four rows, so we only need four lines. So five plus five, and if you need help figuring out five plus five plus five plus five, you can go ahead and break it down. So these two fives make 10, and these two fives make 10. So then we have 10 plus 10, and we know 10 plus 10 is 20, so that is our answer. Now let's go ahead and look at the columns. So remember, these are columns that go up and down, top to bottom. So in each column, we have four apples. So we are gonna go ahead and, and this one needs one more because there's five columns. So in each column, there's four. So we're gonna put four plus four plus four plus four, plus four, one, two, three, four, five. There we go. So now we have our repeated addition. Remember repeated addition means that you are adding the same number and over and over and over again. So if you wanna kinda figure this out easier, you can go ahead and do four plus four equals eight. Another four plus four equals eight. And we know that eight plus eight equals 16. 
And then we have four left over, so 16 plus four equals 20. So Patricia has 20 apples in all. So you can either use a bar diagram <clears throat> to help you figure these out, or you can use an array, or you can just count all the apples in the um, problem. Let's go ahead and do one more. So it says Blake has three packs of baseball cards. Eight baseball cards are in each pack. How many baseball cards does Blake have in all? So we are going to put eight uh, little baseball cards in each box because these are packs, one pack, two pack, three pack. And we're going to put eight baseball cards in each pack. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we have eight, or now we have eight now in each pack. So we can go ahead and count up how many baseball cards we have. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So we have 20, or Blake has 24 baseball cards in all. So we had eight in this pack, eight in this pack, and eight in this pack. Now we are gonna go ahead and do an array to try to figure out this problem also. So we have three packs, so we're gonna have three little we're gonna have three rows and eight in each row. Five, six, seven, eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're gonna look at our, <coughs> excuse me, our rows, which remember go left to right. And we have eight baseball cards in each row. So we're gonna put eight plus eight plus eight. And if it's easier for you guys, you can go ahead and do eight plus eight equals 16. And then you can count on. So we have 16 plus eight. So you can use your fingers to count that. So 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. All right, now we're going to look at the columns. Remember, the columns go up and down. So we have eight columns, <clears throat> and we have three in each column. So we're going to do three plus three plus three plus three plus three. Sorry, that was a really bad three. Plus three plus three plus three. So we had eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if you wanna make this easier on you, you can do three plus three equals six. Three plus three equals six. Three plus three equals six. And three plus three equals six. So we know six plus six equals 12. And six plus six equals 12. So you could either do 12 plus 12 or you could do 12 plus six more, and then that equals 18, and then six more from 18. If you're at 18 and you count six more, you get 24. So Blake had 24 baseball cards in all. So those are just how to do story problems, and you have your bar diagram right here and your array right here. If you guys need any more help, go ahead and go back to the other videos and yeah, that will help you guys out. So thank you very much for listening. Bye.